going to be the two to watch in this great, already a great heat. They're going to be definitely the two to watch. All right, let's set up the lanes for you for this final lane number one. We have Ross Palazzo from Hudson Explorer Aquatics. In lane two is Ben Gorski from Arlington Aquatic Club. Three, Ian Finnerty from Councilman Center. Some team is in lane number three. In lane number four is Andrew Seliscar from Nation's Capital Swim Club. In five is Carson Bissering from Nation's Capital Swim Club. In six is Brennan Pastorek from Georgia Coastal. Thomas Cope is in seven from Dayton Raiders. And in lane eight, Matthew Salerno from Maverick Swim Club. So Matthew, or sorry, Andrew Seliscar in lane number four, top qualifier. He went 51.78 this morning, just missed Kevin Cordes' national age group record by two hundredths of a second. I'm sure he is um, quite fired up to do, to get the long course record, which is a very fast swim, 100.47. He's going to have to be out 28 low to do that. And that is fast. Carson Vissering in lane number five. Could be taking it out with him. These two are from Nations Capital. They don't train together. They train at different sites. So they only see each other at swim meets. So um, anxious to see how this shakes out here. Great final shaping up the men's 100 breaststroke. Salas guys got great pullouts, pulling out to 16 meters. That definitely gave a little advantage on the start, but Carson's catching up a little bit. Looks like Carson might have the lead here in lane number five after the 50. He does, 28-21 for Carson Bissering. He's on fire. Andrew Soloskar has got him in his sights, though. Did Carson go out too fast? And will Andrew catch him? Yeah, we're going to keep an eye on the clock. 100.47 is the national age group record. It's a very fast swim. If they can do that, looks like right now just bragging rights is what they're looking for. 101 flat for Carson Bissering to win. 100 breaststroke, 101.19 for Andrew Seliscar. Not under 101, but very fast swims there. Kevin Cordes can rest easy. His record lives another day. Those are two great swims there. Andrew really caught up to him. Looked like he had him there, but Carson had the better reach. I think Carson's a little bit taller, so I think that was the deciding factor for him. By the way, that's, um, those are lifetime bests for both of them. They gotta be very, very happy with that.